Um, I just wanted to go live real quick um, to kind of show you guys a little something that we're going to be doing at the Cricut 101 class. Um, so we're going to, the Cricut 101 is going to be a very basic overview of how to use your Cricut. So this is for anybody that um, is just getting their Cricut um, or has had their Cricut for a while and they've been too scared to open it because it's We'll be honest, it's kind of intimidating. Um, so we are going to go over, you know, all the basics of how to use your Cricut, the materials that you can cut with it. Um, we're not gonna go too terribly in, like um, into the, oh, what's the word? Um, oh, my brain's drawing a blank. Sorry, I got like zero sleep last night and the night before because Millie, has not fallen asleep until like 4 30 in the morning and so it's my brain's kind of running on on no sleep right now mm -mm, no not right now sweetie sorry and then they, now the other kids want to come out and be crazy and wild um so anyways we're not gonna uh it's just gonna be a ba very basic kind of cricket class so um what i'm gonna show you guys today is um how to make these fun little paper cardstock flowers and that's something that we're gonna be making at the cricket 101 class and um, so I just thought, oh, I'll go on here and show you guys how to make these on here. Um, so for that, we are going to be using bobby pins to roll these flowers. So I already have everything uh, pre-cut on. I already did it on my Cricut earlier. And so the templates look like this. And so these are going to turn into these right here. So I have all of my little um, leaves already cut out. And I already did this one right here, and of course, Millie kind of got a hold of this one, so he's got some blue ink on him. Um, but to give your to give your flower this like dimension, like this has right here, where you know it has just kind of that that extra dimension to it, um, what we do is we just take ink around the sides of the paper. So this one I already did, and I've already inked it, so it's already you know looking dimensionalized, I guess. So what we do is we just take the bobby pin and we're just gonna swirl it. Just get a really good tight wrap on there. And these take a minute to make, um, but they turn out really cute and it's they're really simple to do. Just wanna be sure that they get wrapped really tight. You can use these for all kinds of things. See, I'm coming unwound now. Um, so we're making them for this. And this fall, I plan to add shadow boxes to our shop lineup so um, that you can add these little flowers into your shadow box and then put like some vinyl on the outside of it to say like family or um, maybe your anniversary or you know something like that or if you're going to a wedding those make a really cute wedding gift so yeah see they just roll them really 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 tight Well, I'll go ahead and do this today. I know we don't get a whole lot of activity on Saturdays on Facebook because everybody's out doing the family stuff, which they should. Um, but we've had kind of a quiet afternoon here, so I thought, well, we'll just go ahead and, and do this. Okay, so you wanna get it rolled really good and tight. And then um, when you get to the end, this little circle piece, um, that's what you're gonna glue your actual flower to. So you just pull the bobby pin right out. We're gonna fold this under. And you just kinda let it go on the table. And it'll unwind and you want that to happen. just kind of play with it till you get it the size that you want to glue this little base 
onto it. All right, I think that is good.